Hello everyone, welcome to Farm Pro Tutorial Lesson 6 on Parameter Linkage. So in today's lesson, we will have two sections. Section 1, Dataset Parameter Linkage, and Section 2, Link Template Parameter. Open the designer, open a new report. As always, the very first step is to create our dataset. So in today's lesson, we will use dbQuery dataset because later on, we need to create our dataset parameter from this page. So sales volume is going to be the data table we're going to use for today's tutorial. And for now, we're just going to skip the parameter making and the parameter linkage part. But instead, we're going to set up the general templates first. So in today, we're going to use region, salesperson, and sales volume, these three data columns, for the report making. So as we set up the general template, let me introduce you about the parameter linkage. So as we know, parameter is always used for data query. In other words, parameter is different condition that we use to filter in different uh, data searching. And sometimes we will have more than one parameter. We will have more than one condition. For example, if we want to find the data that is under condition A, also have the characteristic of condition B. So we need two parameters, parameter A and parameter B. So in here, we need to linkage parameter A and parameter B in order to find the exact data we need. So in other words, we need to find the data under the interaction of condition A and condition B. All right, so for now, we have done the work for set up the general looking for this template. So now let's go to section one, dataset parameter linkage. So we we'll go back to the dataset editing page and we type in where to lead to the following command for parameter making. So as I said before, sometimes we need more than one parameter for a data query. So in today's lesson, we will use product type and the product name. These two conditions as our two parameters for data query. So in another word, when we're entering the display report interface, first we want to find our product type A and also we want to find every product name under the corresponding product type. So that's why we need a parameter linkage in here for the product and the product type. So as we hit the refresh button, as you can see, we have two product condition, product name and product type. Next, we're gonna enter the parameter setup page, add all the parameter we already pre-made from data set. And also we're gonna choose different widget style drop down box for both product type and product name. And the next, we're gonna hit on the drop down box for product type and do the data dictionary binding. So here's the point, we can't bind the parameter product type directly to DS1 because in the actual data query page, we want to find search for every uh, product type. And if we bind from DS1, the system will ask us uh, which data type we want to find. So instead, we want to show every product type so in here, we're going to create another data set. Select data uh, product type from self volume. So in this way, when we do the binding, the drop down box will show every product type from this table. Okay. So now we do the binding. Choose from data query. And uh, the data set we're going to choose is DS1. Uh, DS2, sorry about that. Okay, so that's binding for product type. So next, we're going to bind our parameter product to the corresponding data table product. So same reason, we're going to use a new data set for the binding. So in here, we're going to select every product from sales volume. And the next, in here, we're going to type in where to lead to the following command for the condition, which is product type inside this table is equal to the parameter product type. So in, a, in another word, for every product in DS3, if we want to do the query, every time we want to find the product, it has the condition, which is the corresponding product type of this product. It's equal to the parameter product type we made. So next, we bind the data dictionary. So still choose from data query, we're gonna use DS3. And as you can see, 
because in uh, DS3 we only have one data table product and the, the system asks you which product type you're going to choose. So that's the idea for parameter linkage. So let's preview, see what's going on. So first we hit the beverage for the product type and as you can see, apple juice is a corresponding product under the same product type. If we choose dessert, as you can see, chocolate, dry beef, they are all under the corresponding product type, dessert. All right, so now let's move on to typing two, template parameter linkage. So we're gonna keep this template that we made from section one. So the only thing we need to change is to click on DS1. We're gonna delete every circle command to create a dataset parameter. So start from where we're gonna delete the rest because we're making a template parameter. So click on template, fourth option, report parameter. Click on that. So in here, we're gonna make our two uh, template parameter, product type and product name. So as you can see, beside the delete part from DS1, I didn't change anything from this template because making a template parameter linkage is a similarity to making a dataset parameter linkage. So the next step is to bind the data with the corresponding parameter. So in here, we select A2 to do the filter because as we introduced the idea of parent-child cell before, A2 is going to be the parent cell for B2 and C2 by default. So we'll move on to the right side, click on cell element. Under the last one, we'll have the filter condition. So in here, we're going to uh, set product type, data table from DS1 equals to product type, the template data parameter. And also we're going to select product from DS1 set them equal to the product template parameter. All right, so the parameter linkage setting method is the same as section one. So in here, we don't do any change. So let's just hit the preview button, see the final result. So as you can see, we have product type, beverage and dessert section. And once we select beverage, we can see the corresponding products, the different drinks. So let's select aqua juice to test. Also, we can select dessert. As you can see, we we'll have the corresponding product. Choose chocolate for the test. So that's everything for parameter linkage. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.